Yo, how's it going everybody? And welcome back to this Material UI course. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to work with routing and navigation between different components in this library. Now, I made a video similar to this a while back where I taught you how to work with routing and navigation in Material UI, but I felt like in all connectedness together for this course, it's best to actually make a separate video regarding routing and navigation for Material UI. So without further ado, this is what we're gonna be building right here. We have a simple uh, ability to route between components. So if I click on cards, it'll go to the card component. If I click on carousel, carousel component, table component, and same thing when I go into my drawer, it'll be able to go from carousel, table, and cards. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alrighty, so open up the app that we've been building in the last video, and the first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to install our dependency, and to do that, all we have to do is npm install react-router-dom at 6. So this will install version 6. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create all of our components that we're going to be routing to. So inside of my components folder right here, I'll create a new file and I'll call it card.js. And I'll create another one and I'll call it carousel.js. And another one I'll call it home.js. And finally, table.js. And I'm going to populate this stuff with some basic code. So I'm just going to copy whatever we have inside of our app.js file right here. And I'll put it inside of here. I'll clean out all of this content right inside of here. And I'll call this card example. We'll get rid of this as well. And we'll get rid of all of that. So we just want a basic, clean uh, React component right here. So I'll just do card example like that. And I'll just go ahead and copy this into my other files. So I'll do carousel example. And after that, I'll do home example. And finally, table example. Alrighty, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my index.js file right here. And what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and import browser router from React Router DOM that we installed as a dependency. So I'll do browser router from React Router DOM. And basically what this allows us to do is there is a HTML5 history API which basically replaces the state, pushes the state, and um, pops the state of a URL. So it allows us to be able to actually go to a certain component and it all encapsulates that in a browser router tag. So to use that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna push it, put it right here. So I'll do browser router right there and I'll engulf the app like so. And that's all we have to do. Alrighty, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to assign all of our app links in our actual app to go to the certain pathways that we want. So I'm going to go in my app bar.js and the first thing that we're going to change is our very first pages.map file right here, pages.map function right here. And inside of the button tag, what I will do is I'm going to give it a component. And I'm going to make it equal to capital L link, like so. And, whoops, not from Material UI. We want to do it from React Router DOM. And next thing, we want it to go to our slash pathway, our specific pathway. And the pathways that we're going with are going to be these exact ones right here. Card, carousel, table, and home. Home is not here, but we'll show that later. So inside of these curly braces, I'm going to do backticks, and I'll do dollar sign curly braces, and inside of here, I'll do uh, page, and I'll set a slash right before there. And if we save that, we can't really test that right now, but we'll test it out later. After that, I'm going to scroll lower in our next pages.map, and inside of here, inside of my list item, since we made it look like a button, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it as a component, and we're going to make it equal to a link tag. And we'll do two, same thing, curly braces, back ticks. Co slash, dollar sign, curly braces, and we'll take it to link. And that's all we need to do for that. So now when we click on our actual links, it'll take us to that pathway. But we actually need it to change the component in our actual app. So let's go ahead and do that now. So to do that, I'm going to go back into my app.js file right here. And now we're going to think of our app.js file as a main hub that's going to store all of our routes to direct to each component. So we're actually going to get rid of all of this stuff right here. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to create a tag called routes from React Router DOM. This is going to encapsulate all of our different routes. So each routes will have a route tag. So I'll do route like so with a self closing brace. And the first one I'll do path is equal to slash. I think it's probably not imported. So let's go ahead and import it from React Router DOM like so. And we want it to go to a certain component. So we're going to do element is equal to, we'll do home example. So now what we just did right here, we're saying that the slash pathway, when you initially enter a website, whenever you go to slash, it's going to always take you to the home example component, which we made right here. Let me change the name right here. So I'll do home. Uh, I'll do carousel here, card, and I'll do table. There we go. And for the other components, it'll be the exact same thing. So I'll just copy this and paste it three more times. And the next one we'll do is cards. After that, it'll be carousel. And finally, table. And for this example, it'll be card example. This one will be carousel example. And now this will be table example. So now let's go ahead and test out our app and see if this works. Alrighty, so our initial load, we have the slash pathway right here and it takes us to the home example, which is perfect. And if I were to go in the, in the drawer and I click on cards, it takes us to the card component, carousel component, and table component. Perfect. Now before we conclude the tutorial, we also have to check these app links right here. So it takes us to card, carousel, and table. Perfect. Alrighty, so that concludes this tutorial. We've learned how to do routing and navigation between different components on the click of the app links in our app bar in our drawer. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.